Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today I'm here to do the over 30 book tag. This tag was originally created by Emily at Ink Not Blood for her 31st birthday. I will link Emily's video in the description box below as well as in the cards. Let's get to it. Question one, name one of your favorite books that features a protagonist over the age of 30. For that I went with the Women's Murder Club series by James Patterson. This is the first book, First to Die. I don't love this entire series, but the first few books were really good and there's some in the middle that are really good as well. The main character in this series, Lindsay Boxer, is 34. Two, name a book that represents you when you were younger. I went with How My Private Personal Journal Became a Bestseller by Julia De Villers. This book is about a girl whose private personal journal gets published accidentally and becomes a bestseller. Um, and much like the main character in this book, I used to write poetry rather than stories, but I used to use my creative writing to kind of get back at my enemies or people that I was fighting with or just people that I didn't like in general. So that was something that we had in common and so when I read this book I was really able to identify with that. Three, name a book that represents where you are in your life now. For that I went with a nonfiction book. It is You're Never Weird on the Internet by Felicia Day. I've talked about this book before. I have a full video for this. I'll link it in the description box below as well as in the cards. This book validated all of my feelings about my life, about how life is to be a nerd girl and how it is to be an adult with anxiety and depression. And just, I learned so much about myself from this book that I don't think I will ever be able to tell you guys how much I absolutely love this book. I feel like I'm blending in to the background today. Four, name a book that represents something about you that has never changed. For that I went with Toil and Trouble, 15 Tales of Women and Witchcraft. This is a compilation and the reason why I chose this is because as a compilation it has 15 stories of 15 different types of witchcraft and witcheries and I have studied religion from like my mid-teens until now. I am pagan and a witch and I always kind of am fluid about my beliefs and like what works for me better at that time in my life and also if you want to sell me on a book just put the word witch in it and it's like basically the easiest way to sell me on a book. Five, name one of your favorite classics. You know classics because we're over 30 and we're old. Yeah. Listen, Emily said it, not me. I totally said it. For that, I went with Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. To be fair, I haven't read and liked a lot of classics. This is really just the one that I like the most. Six is to name a book that you would either like to read or have read that was published in the year you were born. I was born in 1987. As a preteen and a young girl, I read a lot of the Babysitter's Club books, like basically all of them that the library had when I was a kid. And wouldn't you know it, the fourth book in the Babysitter's Club series, Marianne Saves the Day, was published in 1987. So those are the answers for my over 30 tag. If you're over 30 and you would like to do this tag, please feel free to do so. And as Emily said, if you're under 30 and you want to do this tag, go ahead and do it. Who are we to judge? That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos twice a week. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.